Hello and welcome to Exchange for Media live from Khan. I'm very pleased to have with me today Hitesh Chavla. He's the founder and CEO of Silverpush. Hitesh, welcome to Exchange for Media. Thank you. Very glad to be here. Hitesh, I just want to start off with a statistic. The Group PEMS uh, TYNY report states that by 2029 it I estimates that 94.1% of all advertising will be AI enabled or touched by AI in some way. What's your take on that? So, uh, if you say touched by AI, you know, honestly, I, if you ask me, I'll say it's five years and in five years, like 100% will be touched by AI. There can't be any aspect in advertising which no, won't be touched by AI, honestly. I feel like whether it's creatives, whether it's media buying, media buying is already happening with AI. You're already optimizing campaigns using, using AI. So by 2029, I think a uh, whole uh, industry will be AI driven. Okay. Uh, Yitesh, now that we are in a cookie-less world and that's the reality, how do you ensure effective targeting for brands? Okay. So cookie is, is of course happening uh, so there are two ways to look, look at the cookies one is the cookies or the first party data the second is context so both will always or, or will play a huge role because one brand will always start uh, want, want to create uh, more of their first party data which they can utilize which they can uh, use for showing ads the second is context which will be a big replacement for uh, or big uh, I would say su substitute for cookies or for cookies because context helps you know with placing the ads better there you connect with the with where the ad gets placed you know let's say your audience and you, you'll always know that what what's the content consumption behavior of that your particular audience so you target the content consumption behavior and if you have first party data combine it with that so it becomes even strong so yeah context will play a huge role in, in the cookie list space. You mentioned context and content. Uh, we've seen an explosion in both commerce media, retail media and quick commerce as well as in OTT. So how do you see this evolving? So retail media, uh, honestly, it's so it's still a very US phenomena and of course will happen in other, other markets also because uh, if you look at because Amazon is a huge example or the biggest success story. They've utilized their data for monetization on uh, retail. And that's what uh, uh, the assumption is that all the retail companies or the online retail companies and offline retail companies will want to do uh, on monetization of their data. So I think it'll surely happen uh, in other parts of the world also. Oh, so sorry, what were the other components you mentioned? Uh no, uh, OTT. Okay. So OTT is like, uh, I would say automatically move more towards CTV because OTT content now is a lot more consumed on CTV. CTV will play a big role on uh, in all these different markets. All the growth, at least the, uh, if you look at, you know, which platforms will grow, CTV will be a big, will play a big part in uh, growing the OTT space. Okay, and now I just want to ask you, what is the value that Silver Push as a company brings to brands? Sure. So for us, you know, where we help, uh, so one of the biggest spends the brands have is on videos. Their biggest investments happen on video content or video ads. What we do is help them place those ads better. So we use AI to detect the context of the place where the ad will be shown. So let's say on YouTube, there are like, millions of videos that get, get uploaded every day where which are the videos the ads should be placed in which are the channels the which which will be relevant for the brand so connecting uh, their video investments with better placements improves the roi of the brands that's the core of what we do but you know there have been cases where we've seen wrong placements of ads also where uh, you know, some ads have uh, uh, been attached or played along with negative news particularly. Then what can be done to avoid this? I know keywords is the way, but even then with keywords, we've seen that happen couple, uh, many times. So in our case, that's exactly where we come in or we help the brands. Uh, so we don't just look at keywords. 
when it comes to text we look at keywords and semantic analysis because semantics with semantics you get an understanding what's happening in the whole article and if it's video because video is the biggest challenge uh, where the you don't know what's there in the content or what's there in the video just by looking at the title of the keyword or the keywords so there ai plays a huge role in uh, using visual ai you can you know uh, analyze the content uh, detect the elements in the video detect if detect if there's an, any unsafe or brand unsafe elements in the video there could be you know violence guns uh, detect those elements and making sure that that's going don't get placed against those so basically brand safety so how do you go about ensuring brand safety then uh that's exactly with uh, ai using visual ai plays a big role like i said because that makes sure uh that when it comes to videos it looks at the frames it looks at the frame level that what's there in the video and uh, okay. and together with the not just the frames hmm. but also with the text when you get the audio can get the audio uh, data you can make more sense out of it that Sure. Is it a positive uh, gun or maybe something? It's negative uh, or something you don't want to be associated associated to. So we do that analysis, and that's how we make sure the ads don't get played. And again, there's also a human layer, which if there's something flagged, which looks at those videos that uh, whether we have to bl- block those videos, those channels or not. Uh, now you know when you work with brands, have you got internally, uh, you know, your suggestion? What are the do's and don'ts? that have to be you know taken care of when you come to advertising especially using ai okay uh, so for the brands for the brands uh, the biggest guidelines we have to ensure is one is of course the creative side of it that it has to be within the guidelines the second is uh, the placements one is the placements which are for the brand so let's say if maybe someone drinking coffee in the video could be a relevant placement for a brand like starbucks so ensuring uh, the placements are right and also ensuring it's nothing is brand unsafe not brand unsuitable so those are things we have to ensure and then optimization okay. and now this is where the next layer of ai comes in that auto optimizing the campaign based on uh, what's working based on which creative is performing which maybe uh, CTA button is performing which tagline is performing so optimizing it further for better outcomes okay and any don'ts like don't do this it's just uh, where not to place ads where not to exceed budgets not to exceed <laughs> not to you hit the nail right on its head uh, now looking at you know your products any new products or tech thing or uh, tech platforms which we can expect from uh, silver potion how that will help uh, brands further yeah we're doing a lot of things we're doing a lot of things so for us context was the biggest uh, core that we built around then the next level, level how do we ensure how do we further improve the outcomes how okay. do we further improve the outcome for the brand so which is now at the level of creatives how do we use ai now with generative ai llms how do we further improve the results that's the big area we are working on uh, and also then another area we are working on is how do we use llms uh, gen- generative ai our context intelligence on creator side of uh, world so that's okay. another area we have we've been focusing on can you just explain on the creator side also what uh, how can you just elaborate on it so uh, there are few things we're testing there are few things we're testing so if you look at it, like creators of all uh, it's the whole industry is based on the post being created then verifying that post uh, it's a very manual operations driven hmm. industry so how do we you know automate with let's say context the brand has a so the way we work with them this is the context which is important for the brand or a right for the brand based on the context automatically sure uh, it can get the right creators and then with the creators getting the uh, ads spread through their accounts or through, through their handles basically getting it not making not process uh, i would say operations driven but more automated uh, with that I just have a follow up questions with it for on this place uh, now brands are using a lot of influencers and content creators right and uh, they 
uh, whatever the content creator influencers approached and then you have a paid collaboration but uh, of late we've seen ASCII the regulator for uh, the ads has come out with a lot of complaints wherein in this particular context because they keep pulling up that the collaborators have done something which they should not is there anything that can be done on that side because the brands and the collaborators are doing it together but there's been a huge uh, it's the number is quite huge when it comes when they're pulled up so we haven't looked into the space uh, but there's an interesting thing where ai can uh, for us ai can play a huge role in fact th things we do we can easily uh, overlay on this which is verifying the content that's that got created by the content creator there's something co could be an interesting area we haven't thought in those lines but this can be a very interesting area which ai can solve because you can tell or you can train ai to detect what, what whatever is not under brand, brand guideline you train for brand guidelines and it will automatically flag content created by the creators for them which is not um, in, in line with their guidelines and finally you know silver push has started and now you've expanded uh, globally what where next are you going what are your expansion plans and which will be your growth drivers so we want to be a global uh, company in the sense that global, powerful global company. And right now, two big uh, regions we've been focused on is, uh, of course, America. Mm -hmm. And America, we've been now th there for last four years and still growing. Still a very high growth market for us. And last two years, we've been also focused on Europe. So we started with UK. This year we've started a lot of other got into a lot of other markets like Spain, France, Germany, uh, Nordics. So we are trying to you know uh, something we did earlier in Asia, which is one market uh, going into each market, building team there. That's exactly now what we are doing for in Europe. That's the plan basically for, to uh, go further deep into Europe now. Finally, how has Khan been for you this year? So very good. This is my second time, my second time, and this is way better than last year. A lot of learnings, a lot of good meetings, a lot of uh, and a lot of people you meet here. You won't find them anywhere. As in you, you won't find them in, at other events. So that's the, in fact, the best part. And they are very in, I would say, relaxed uh, mode when they're here. So it's good time to spend. Uh, and it's great to spend time with clients, with partners here. Thank you so much, Hitesh, for your time. It was lovely talking Thank to you. you. Same here.